morning. This is Akashvani Kohima, the morning news read by Matsina. Today is International Mother's Day. It is a celebration honoring the mother of the family or individual, as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. This day serves as a heartfelt tribute to motherhood and the remarkable influence mothers have on our lives and a time to reflect on the tireless efforts and unwavering devotion of mothers who selflessly dedicate themselves to nurturing and supporting their loved ones. Wishing all mothers on Mother's Day, Chief Minister Nipi Rio said motherhood is a gift from God, rooted in compassion, nurturing and endless sacrifices making the home and hearth a place of warmth and blessings. He said mothers are the sustaining force for the family and society. Rio said we honor all mothers and those who play the role of a mother. Sendenyu has made a pioneering example by creating the first Biodiversity Education Experience Center, BEEC, in Nagaland, which is home to numerous community conservation initiatives. It was inaugurated on May 9th during the two-day Sendenyu Youth Biodiversity Fest 2024 under the theme My Forest, My Biodiversity, My Time at Sendenyu Ecotourism Destination Center, New Sendenyu in Semenyu District. Altogether, the fest was organized by the Sendinu Community Biodiversity and Wildlife Conservation Board and Kenono Foundation. The BEEC is dedicated to creating a space where intergenerational learning of the past, the present and the future of our biodiversity could be fostered. Another key highlight of the fest was the launching of the center's first capacity building and awareness program, which was supported by the Nagaland State Biodiversity Board under a project funded by the International Climate Initiative. Sainik School Punglua in Nagaland commemorated its 17th Founders' Day yesterday with a series of events. DIG Range NAP Nagaland Police Headquarters Uniel Kichu graced the occasion as chief guest. The ceremony commenced with a poignant tribute to the gallant soldiers with wreath laying at the war memorial, followed by a guard of honor by the cadets. The half-yearly newsletter, Voice of the Young Warriors of Morong, was also released on the occasion. The cultural extravaganza presented by the cadets showcased their multifaceted talents, encompassing cultural dances, group and solo performances, blending entertainment with education seamlessly. Cadet Rakesh Nalo was adjudged Best Officer-like Qualities Cadet. Union External Affairs Minister Dr. S.J. Shankar discussed the emerging landscape, its challenges and opportunities and changing practices with Indian Foreign Service Officer trainees. He attended the valedictory ceremony of the Indian Forest Service Officer trainees of the 2023 batch and the Bhutanese diplomats in New Delhi yesterday. He said that the officer trainees will help shape India's journey to vaccine Bharat. The external affairs minister welcomed them to a life in diplomacy and wished them the best in times ahead. Congress President Malikarjun Kharge has raised objections over the methodology adopted by the Election Commission to publish the aggregate voter turnout after every phase of elections. In a letter to the Election Commission, Kage suggested the Commission put out the absolute number of votes polled in the public domain. He said, many voters who are deeply interested in the elections would also like to see the absolute number of votes polled. Kage also wondered why the urgency was not shown by the Commission in taking action against blatantly communal and caste statements being made by the leaders of the ruling party that vitiates the election process. Senior BJP leader and Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has said that India needs a strong leadership in order to make the economy strong and India the guide to the world. He was speaking while campaigning for Mahayuti candidate Murlidhar Mohal of BJP in Pune yesterday. Gadkari appealed to the voters to support his party for the progress of the country. He claimed that the central government has done three times the work in 10 years compared to the performance of Congress in 60 years. Gadkari charged that the Congress does not have any development agenda. Talking about the future development of Pune City, Gadkari reiterated for creation of another Pune City as the current infrastructure is falling short for its progress. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a good day.